Game Time is brought to you in part by Good Success Christian Church and Ministries, a purpose-driven church where they want you to experience the love and love the experience. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Game Time Game of the Week. Between the Roosevelt Rough Riders and the HD Woodson Warriors. Big time matchup right here in the Stars Division. Rough Riders win this. Pretty much lock up the regular season championship and the number one seed going into the playoffs. It'll be Thomas set to kick off. It'll be number two Antonio Wilkins back to receive best return man in DCIAA. Six returns for touchdowns. Let's see if he can get another one here tonight. And we are underway. And looks like they'll give him an opportunity. Makes a move, but he'll be tackled immediately. That's a good tackle right there. That'll be number three, Ricky Farr. Antonio on the tackle. Walkers with the reception. And that's where the Rough Riders offense will take over. First and 10 ball spotted at the 29. For Curry Burns Jr. and this Roosevelt offense. High powered offense so far this season. As Burns comes into this game, as they'll send Wilkins in motion, they'll hand it off to Juan Pratt, and he will be tackled immediately. That's number five, Josiah Young on the tackle. Big stick right there by Young. We do have a penalty on the play. It may be against the Rough Riders. Let's get the officials call. Looked like it was a little bit of extracurricular activity here at the bottom. Looked like Winston Page and number six, DeAndre Purvis, got into it. They may have got Page for a personal foul. Personal foul. Number five. 15 yards serving from the dead ball spot. Second down. Yes, that will be against Winston Page. Personal foul. That'll back him up 15. And I've said it many times, and I'll say it again right in here, right now. If you're either team, but talk about the Rough Riders as they have an opportunity to lock up the number one seed tonight. The one thing you don't want to do is kill yourself with penalties. Second and 10 14. Now instead of, now it'll be second in West Nowhere. Second in Georgia, Georgia Ave for the Rough Riders. It's Burns. Gets play from the sideline, calls an audible. Let's see if they hand it to Pratt one more time. League leading Russia. Nope, they'll take the snap. And they'll find Pratt in the, in the flats. And H.D. Woodson is all over it. And that'll bring up third down for the Rough Riders. Great job right there by H.D. It's number nine, Javon Anderson on the tackle. It'll be third down and long for Roosevelt. They come out in the two back shotgun, two receivers to the right of the formation. Looks like HD is going to send some pressure right in Burns' face, and he will be sacked. Once again, that is number nine, Javon Anderson, along with fellow linebacker number eight, Donovan McLean. And Roosevelt is going to send on the punting unit. Great start to the game if you're H.D. Woodson. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to shut down Pratt. And then you want to get some pressure right in Burns' face. They did both of those things, and they forced a three and out. It's a great job by this HD defense. As Burns gets set to punt, looks like there's another penalty. And I think that'll be against Roosevelt. Let's see what the call is. Listen in. Roosevelt. Off to a really bad start so far, shooting themselves in the foot with penalties. It's not how you want to start this game off if you're Roosevelt. 
Not a good start to the game at all. I've come accustomed to seeing Roosevelt play pretty smart football as Burns will get set to punt it away. Good booming punt. It'll give Sneed an opportunity on the sideline and he will be tackled. Lowered his shoulder a bit, but he'll be tackled. And H.D. Woodson, after a strong outing on defense, will take over on offense. As H.D. Woodson comes out on offense, it'll be first and 10 ball spotted at the Roosevelt 43. I wouldn't be surprised to see H.D. maybe take a shot here as they try to get back on track after that loss to Dunbar last week. Looks like we have a stoppage of time. Looks like the spot may have been a bit off. So they wanted to get the spot right. Good catch by the official. And there we go, back to live action. Wouldn't be surprised to see H.D. Woodson maybe take a shot here, but looks like they're in a power set. Maybe they'll hand it to Young. And looks like we have some movement prior to. Let's see, let's get the officials call. Once again, penalties. I've said it all year and I'm gonna say it again. Can't have penalties, man. It just, just can't. You no, know, I understand. It's a big game. Nerves may be high. Especially if you're HD, you're really getting to get back on track after that loss to Dunbar. Gotta play smart. Gotta play smart football. It's, 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 it's no substitution for playing smart football. And penalties, not smart football. Now it'll be second and 15 after the penalty is enforced. It'll be Novon Lee, quarterback for the Warriors. And they'll hand it to Sneed. Kayvon Sneed. What a hole. Good blocking right there by the offensive line. Kayvon Sneed picks up a first down and then some first down HD Woodson. Now I, get, now I didn't get an opportunity to post it on Instagram. But if I'm HD Woodson, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to establish Kayvon Sneed. Sneed comes into this one with 10 rushing touchdowns. I want to get him into the end zone early and often if I can. Looks like H.D. Wilson's going to try to do that. As they come out in the same formation, they'll run just about the same play. Uh, nice cut back by Sneed. That looks like a gain of about six. Looks like maybe a gain of five, five and a half. And H.D. will go right to the line. Let's see if they hand it to Sneed once more. It's worked on him so far in this drive. Wouldn't be surprised to see it once more. Looks like they watched that Dunbar game, uh, that Roosevelt versus Dunbar game. Daquan Harvin had a really good second half as they'll leave it in Lee's hands here. Uh, looks like they may get Wilkins on a hold. No call, good no call. As Lee was looking for Fillmore. It's been a lethal connection so far. Four, four plus touchdowns for that leader, Fillmore connection. Not surprised to see them take a shot right there. It'll bring up third down, seven. Let's see if they try to get Roosevelt to jump. Maybe pick up a free, not a free first down, but make it third and short. They'll come out. There's the snap, they'll hand it to Sneed. And Sneed will pick up close to a first down. Looks like he will be about a yard shy. If I'm HD Woodson, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to come out of here on fourth down. Fourth down, it looks like two. I'm going to try to get Roosevelt to jump off sides. But then I'm going to still run a play, and I might hand it to Sneed if I'm HD. Let's see what they do. And that is exactly what they do, but it looks like yeah, it will be encroachment. Roosevelt just killing themselves. Roosevelt killing themselves so far in this one. I think that's going to be a difference maker. I think HD is going to end this drive with some points, and that penalty will be a big, big reason for it. 
But again, smart, smart job by HD. Good, good job by Novon Lee going on a hard count. Getting Roosevelt to jump. Picking up an easy first down. That's what you want to do right there. It'll be first thing goal for HD. Ball spotted at the seven. Wouldn't be surprised they handed to Snead once again. That's exactly what they do. Kayvon Snead lowers his shoulder. Looks like he'll pick up about four yards on that play. Looks like he'll pick up about four yards on that carry. So we come out on second, second down and go. Definitely expect him to hand it to Snead once more. Let him run behind that big offensive line. That's what they do. Good block by Young. Second effort. Are they going to give it to him? No, they will not. It'll be third down and goal. Jamal Edwards. Good job by Jamal Edwards. Knifing in. Making the tackle. Third down and goal. Ball spot at the one. Let's see if they maybe try to sneak it in with Lee. Let's see if they try to run a QB sneak. Try to get. Let's see, there's the snap. It'll be a keeper by Lee. Bootleg and oh, breaks the tackle. Makes a man miss. Novon Lee still on his feet and he will be tackled. Good job right there by, by Roosevelt. Good job right there by Roosevelt. And that'll bring up fourth down and goal. Not a bad play call by H.D. Woodson. I would have preferred them maybe still hand it to Sneed, stick with what's working, not, not get too fancy. But nonetheless, that'll bring up fourth down and goal. It's a big fourth down right here, right now. With six minutes remaining in the first quarter, H.D. Woodson with a big opportunity to, to strike first in this DCIAA Stars Division matchup. Let's see maybe a toss to Sneed. No. Lee under pressure. He'll look and he'll find Fillmore. Touchdown, HD Woodson. Again, I said that Lee to Fillmore connection has been strong, and that is another example of it. Touchdown, HD Woodson. And HD Woodson strikes first. 536 remaining in the first quarter. It's a great job by H.D. Woodson. What a drive. What a drive by H.D. If I'm H.D., I've, I did exactly what I wanted to do. I not only established the run. Committed minimal penalties. Only penalty for HD on that offensive drive was that false start at the beginning of the drive, but they got it right back. That big yard, big run by Sneed. And they get in for the touchdown. They'll go for two. And that is almost intercepted. In and out of the hands of Thomas, but nonetheless, HD Woodson leads six to nothing over Roosevelt. After the HD Woodson touchdown, Thomas will get set to kick it away. It'll be a booming kick. Oh, what a kick. And that'll be a touchback. What a kickoff by Thomas. Touchback. And Roosevelt start this drive at the 20. It'll be Burns Jr. at the helm. See if Roosevelt can have a much better offensive drive here than they did in the first one where they punted it away after a few penalties. Looks like they'll try to get Nehemiah Phillips in space. But once again, Josiah Young makes the tackle. Flexes his muscle. Must deserve flex right there. That was a great play. <clears throat> Reading that screen coming up. Boom, making a tackle. Good job by Young. Second and 11, number 19. It'll be a handoff to Pratt. Good job by Thomas to seal the edge. Great job right there. Amari Thomas sealing the edge, not, allow, not allowing Pratt to get outside. 
It's a good job by this HD Woodson defense, and that'll bring up third down and long. They're doing HD defensively much better outing so far than they had against Dunbar last week. But they gave up four touchdowns to Daquan Harvin. Much better job right now. It'll be Burns taking a shot, and that pass falls incomplete. Roosevelt is all discombobulated, and they'll send on the punting unit once again. H.D. Woodson has Roosevelt all out of sorts, and Roosevelt will have to punt it away once again. Good job defensively by H.D. They're doing exactly what I think they need to do. Shutting down, holding Pratt in check, getting pressure on Burns. And Roosevelt not, and Roosevelt not doing themselves any favors. Penalties after penalties. As Burns looking set to punt it away. Burns able to get that snap. Good punt. And that'll stay away from Sneed and Purvis. Good punt. And it'll be down at the 39 yard line. Great punt right there by Sneed, but we do have a flag on the play. Not sure what the call could be. Maybe a holding penalty. That should be a sideline warning against HD. The Warriors will take over at their own 39. As the Warriors come out first and 10, I don't think you can ask for a much better drive than they had on their first drive. They ended it with a lead of Fillmore touchdown. I don't think you can ask for much better than that. Big run by Sneed. At the start of the drive, really sprung him. Let's see if they use the same formula here. Oh, this time he will be tackled. That'll be number four, 44. Javari Peaks on the tackle. Good Javari job by Peaks. Peaks. The Reading the misdirection. It's good job by Peaks. Reading the misdirection. Getting the tackle on Sneed. That'll bring up second and 12. As we're now under four minutes remaining in the first quarter. HD up six to nothing. Here's the snap. They'll hand it to Sneed. Sneed's able to break a tackle and push the pile. And that'll be a pickup of about eight. The the run. That'll bring up third down at about five. Good run right there by Sneed. I love that HD Woodson is once again, as they did last week, trying to establish their run game. Sneed had a great outing against Dunbar. Over the, over the century mark, if over the over the 100 yard mark, if you or at least close to it, two scores, a great outing for him. Looks like once again he's on his way to another big time outing. It'll be third down and five. Let's see if they try to get. Nope, thought they might try to get him to jump. Oh, what a cutback by Sneed, and that'll be a first down and much much more. Kayvon Sneed. Borderline unstoppable Good right now. Run. And that'll Good be a first run. down for the Warriors. Not surprised to see this much more about that business type HD Woodson after they got beat up pretty bad by Dunbar. Not surprised to see them coming out really in control of this game so far. See if it continues. If I'm HD, I'm still as Sneed exit the game for a blowout. Hand it off to DeAndre Purvis. He's in the backfield. Let him run right behind that big offensive line and Josiah Young. That's exactly what they do. They'll hand it to Purvis. And Purvis will pick up close to a first down. That'll bring up second down and short. Looks like we have a timeout. Timeout. Roosevelt, timeout comes with 155 remaining in the first quarter. After the Rough Riders timeout, it'll be second and short for HD. Where the playbook really opens up on second and short. Call just about anything. If I'm HD, I'm going to hand it to Purvis. Stick with what's working. No need to switch it up. 
And that's what they'll do. They'll hand it to Purvis, and Purvis will pick up a first down. Academic. As Michael Jackson said back in the day, easy is one, two, three, and that's exactly what that was. Snap, handoff, first down. One, two, three. H.D. Woodson, as we're now under two minutes remaining in the first quarter, I don't see them changing up anything. I think what they do, they're pretty much getting whatever they want on the ground. Maybe here on first down as we approach the end of the first quarter, maybe take a shot, but then come right back. If Maybe take a shot here. As you come right back on second down and pick up some really good yardage. As Roosevelt hasn't proven they can stop you. But they'll... Looks like that's what they were going to do, and Lee will be hit. And that is DCI AA SAG leader Jalen Edwards on the hit. And that pass will fall incomplete. Not that that was a surprise to anyone, anyone watching. Man, man. It was Jalen. Yeah, that was, that was 11. Game clock operates. Please reset the game clock to 56 seconds. It starts on my snap. 56 seconds. Jalen Edwards, DCIAA sack leader. Not surprised to see him getting a hit on Lee. And no hand it to Snead once again. Snead will bounce it outside, stiff arm. And he will pick up, looks to be a first down. Again, that was. No, no, not a first down. That'll bring up. That'll bring up third down. Minimal game by Snead. As we're now under one minute left, 39 seconds and counting. That'll bring up third down and long. Let's see if H.D. Woodson gets a playoff before the end of the first quarter. They will, and it will be a handoff to Sneed. Kayvon Sneed, good blocking, still on his feet. Oh, he fumbled. Is that a touchback? Is that a touchback? Oh, he is so lucky. Oh, man. That goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. Ooh, that was scary if you're H.D. Woodson. Woo! Oh, let's see. They're talking it over. I don't think that went out of the end zone. I think that'll be, let's see. Yeah, he was down. Woo, that was scary <laughs> if you're HD. Oh, man. And that is how we will end the first quarter. Woo. Nonetheless, HD Woodson leads Roosevelt 6 0. Appreciate you guys keeping the lock right here at TSDN. You're watching our DCIAA football game of the week. Welcome back for the start of the second quarter. AC Wilson leads six to nothing over Roosevelt. Scary, scary scene at the end of the first quarter. Face did Sneed fumbled, but it went out of bounds at the one. And that brings us here. Kayvon Sneed, that's a good job by Roosevelt, stopping him at the one yard line. Riders with the stop. Could have sworn the ball came out of favor for a pick to go. Again, back to that last play of the first quarter. Sneed did cough it up, but luckily for him, it went out of bounds literally at the one-yard line. Had it well, struck the pylon, that would have been a touchback. Roosevelt. Roosevelt would have had a football. It would been a huge missed opportunity, but luckily for Sneed and HD, second down and goal. If I'm HD, I'm handing it to Sneed one more time. Let him go get himself a score. It's the snap. They'll actually hand it to Young. 
And Roosevelt does a great job defensively. Javari Peaks looks like the first man there. And that'll bring down, that'll bring up third and goal. If I'm HD, I, I don't know why. I, that's not a bad call. But I'm still, I still want to hand it to Kayvon Sneed. Call, call me old fashioned. But when you get down here, first and goal at the one, first and goal, I mean, second and goal at the one, second and goal at the two, I'm going to hand it to my back. Kayvon Sneed doesn't have 10 scores this year for no reason. I think I'm going to hand it to him, especially on you know, third down, let him go get his 11th touchdown of the year. Not sure what the issue is. Looks like it may be a penalty against against HD. Nope, no penalty. It'll remain third down and goal. Ball spotted at the one. Let's see if they hand it to Sneed. If I'm HD, that's what I'm doing. It'll be a toss to Sneed. Nice cut back by Sneed. And he will get in for the touchdown. Touchdown, HD Woodson. They go up by two scores as Sneed snags his 11th rushing touchdown of the season. H.D. Woodson is in full control of this ball game, and Roosevelt better wake up, and they better wake up quick. Touchdown, H.D. Woodson, Kayvon Sneed. Touchdown, H.D. Woodson. With a great cutback. Powers it in. As they'll go for two, trying to make it 14 nothing, And it'll be intercepted. Nonetheless, 12 nothing. HD over Roosevelt. HD has come out strong. Let's see if they can keep it going. 10, 10 09 remaining in the first half. After Sneed's 11th touchdown of the year, Thomas will get set to kick off. It'll be Antonio Wilkins back to receive. There's the kick. Good kick right there. Good placement. And it'll be Wilkins. One of the more dangerous for turn mans in the league. And he's still on his feet. But good job by H.D. Woodson. He'll be tackled just outside the 25 yard line. And that is where Roosevelt will take over on offense. Looking to get something going. It'll be first and 10 for the Rough Riders. They got to get something going as we have a QB change. Wilkins will enter the game, and they're going to take a shot. That'll be complete. Number 14 on the reception. KJ with the pass. That is not KJ. That is to number four, Khalil. As Wilkins completes his first pass. Oh, nice job. Evade the rush. He'll throw. Oh, and it's complete. Oh, it's incomplete. Phillips unable to come up with it. It's a good throw. To number seven, Nehemiah Phillips. Phillips unable to come up with that one. But nonetheless, I like the aggressiveness of Wilkins. Roosevelt offensive coordinator, uh, Bobby Enoch, best known as QB Lab, mentioned that Wilkins is you. It's a blessing and can be a curse because he'll make some dangerous throws, but he'll take chances. It's a snap. It'll be a straight QB keeper. Wilkins can run the ball, and that'll be a first down for Roosevelt. Roosevelt finally picking up a first down as we're 927 into the first quarter. It'll be Wilkins again, and he will be tackled. Josiah Young having himself an evening. That is his third tackle for a loss. Josiah Young. And our DCIAA training and TSDN's DCIAA training camp tour stop where we went over to HD Woodson. One of the key players that I mentioned would make an impact for HD was Josiah Young. Especially on the defensive side of the ball, in the box against the run. Five yard 
Martin. Then have a penalty on the play. Looks like that'll be charged to HD. Gonna get Roosevelt. Five free yards. We'll repeat first down. But as I mentioned, Josiah Young with a great, uh, have himself a great game. As Wilkins calls an audible as they come out in the empty set. It's like trying to get HD to jump. Good job playing discipline by HD. And you see Amari Payne and Amari Thomas looking to pin their ears back. Wilkins will look, passes a bit short, almost intercepted. Ooh, not so sure about that pass into triple coverage. Ooh. Not sure about that one. Again, as I mentioned earlier about Wilkins, his offensive coordinator stating that his youth Again, can be his greatest asset, but his biggest curse all at the same time. I think that's an example of it. It looks like we have a timeout. H.D. Woodson. Timeout comes with 8.43 remaining in the first half. After the Warriors timeout, it'll be second and four. As Wilkins has trips, bunch trips to the left. It's like H.D. is going to send some pressure right up the middle. And now, a uh, great discipline by H.D. Woodson. Amari Thomas, what a play. I don't know if a lot of people noticed how great that play was by Amari Thomas. He really made that play, though he didn't make the tackle. He really made that play. As Wilkins fakes the handoff, pulls it out, read option fake. Thomas, as you guys saw, Really sitting right there, waiting for t waiting for Wilkins to come to him, then over pursued. That's a great play by Thomas. Wilkins will take the snap. Gonna take his shot. Has a man, and it is caught. That'll be number three, Jamal Edwards. And that is the spark. That is the spark that the Rough Riders needed. That'll bring up first and goal as Edwards beats Purvis on a goal. Roosevelt with an opportunity to get on the board. Great job right there by Edwards. Stay in bounds. That's it. They hand it to Pratt. They do. Oh, no, it's on the ground. Pratt able to get it. Roosevelt shooting themselves in the foot. Looks like we have an injury on the plate. For being injury, timeout. After the injured player is able to make it off under his own power. It'll be second and goal for Roosevelt. They gotta get in the, they gotta get in the end zone here. They gotta get in the end zone right here. Nothing, anything less than a touchdown. It's a failure of a drive. Wilkins under pressure. Under pressure, he'll throw! And it is in and out of the hands of Jamal Edwards. Got to catch that. I mean, that's, that's no excuse. That's no excuse. Man. That's, 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 that's just bad. That's bad. That's best a touchdown. That is a touchdown. That's, that's bad. It's, it's no way. Nothing else I could say about that, but just call it B-A-D. Bad. Got to catch that. That's no excuse. You want to be a championship program. You gotta, you gotta catch, you, you, you gotta take advantage of opportunities like that. Now handed to Pratt, and Roosevelt turns it over. Roosevelt is all discombobulated right now. HD Woodson says that's fine. We'll take advantage of every single mistake you make. HD Woodson is gonna take over. Ball will be spotted at the five yard line. After the turnover by Roosevelt, HD Woodson will take over. Ball will be spotted at their own five yard line. 728 remaining in the first half. If H.D. Wilson is able to put some more points on the board, they will be in total control of this one. And looks like we have another penalty. I 
That'll be charged to Roosevelt. Roosevelt, man, they just come out and they just laid nothing but eggs. It's no wonder that H.D. Woodson is up by two and possibly getting ready to go by three scores. And Roosevelt hasn't even has got two first downs so far in this game. They just killing themselves. They just absolutely killing themselves. H.D. Woodson come out in our formation. And they'll hand it to Snead. Oh, ball is on the ground. Looks like Lee is able to get back on it. Roosevelt says they have it. Of course, they do say that. It'll be a fight for it at the Palace. Who comes up with it? And Roosevelt. It'll be Roosevelt's football. Roosevelt needed that one, man. H.D. Woodson is giving them a gift. They got to capitalize. Wilkins will take the snap, and he will find a hole. Touchdown, Theodore Roosevelt. Touchdown. Yeah. That'll be Khalil Wilkins taking the QB keeper right up the middle, breaking a tackle. Touchdown, Roosevelt. That was a much-needed touchdown by Theodore Roosevelt. Had they not gotten in the end zone there, I'm not sure what the rest of this game would have looked like. Much needed touchdown right there. And they get it. Touchdown, Theodore Roosevelt. And they get set to kick the extra point. Rattles with the field goal attempt. Great job right there by Wilkins. And the extra point attempt is no good. But nonetheless, Roosevelt gets no on the scoreboard. They now show H.D. Woodson 12 to 6, with 7 18 remaining in the first half. Roosevelt will get kickoff. It'll be Kayvon Sneed on the return, and he will be tackled just about immediately. He'll take over. Look. They're about the 27 yard line. That's where H.D. Woodson will come back out on offense. It'll be first and 10 for HD. With 7 12 remaining in the first half. HD Wilson looked to get a, have a better drive. They turned it over deep in their own zone. They'll still send a man in motion. They'll hand it off to Sneed. Looks like a guard lead. And oh, Sneed makes a few people miss. Hurdles another one. Kayvon Sneed getting whatever he wants right now. What a run right there by Sneed. <laughs> Running back coach, Doug Pitts, who has coached his fair share of running backs. A lot of you may remember, it's Kayvon Sneed wears number one. A lot of you may remember former Bell running back, Charles Brooks, DCIAA single season rushing record holder. Coach Doug with his coach. And he said Kayvon Sneed has the ability to be the type of back that Brooks was. So a glimpse of it right there. That'll be first down and they'll hand it to Sneed once again. Kayvon Sneed still on his feet. Board 20, one man to beat. Kayvon Sneed will beat Forced out of bounds. Sneed right now. Getting whatever he wants. If I'm HD, Roosevelt has yet to prove to me that they can stop my run game. I'm going to keep handing it off. It'll be number 20, Zaire Kennedy now in the backfield. We saw Kennedy with some really good runs against Baloo a few weeks back. Let's see if they hand it to him. Low snap, Lee's able to corral it. They will hand it to Kennedy, and he will be met immediately by a host of Rough Riders. Looks like first man there once again, Javari Peaks. Called that name a lot in this one. So we're now approaching the six minute mark. H.D. Woodson is inside the red zone. Ball will now be spotted at the 12-yard line. Again, if H.D. Woodson is able to put some points on the board here, they look like they are well on their way to doing that. As it'll be Purvis in the game. 
A Sneed will still get a blow. Wouldn't be surprised to see. Looks like we do have some movement before the snap. That'll be a false start charge to H.D. Woodson. H.D. Woodson's done a really great job, especially early in the first, especially in the first quarter of playing smart and sound football. They don't want to do, they don't want to get sloppy because this Roosevelt team is a team that can put points on the board. When they're not laying eggs, they can put points on the board. So what H.D. Woodson doesn't want to do, they don't want to get sloppy. As Novon Leal come out, but it's facing the second and 15 with five minutes remaining. He'll fake the snap, under pressure, evades the rush, and he will be sacked. That'll be number eight, pulling some double duty. Juan Pratt on the sack. That was a great play by Roosevelt. Much needed sack. H.D. Woodson has been doing a really good job. I'm checking in with me here at the booth. Oh, man, oh, man. The right Singleton of the last championship team. That'll be third and long. On the Tennessee. Just checked in. Oh, my goodness. The legends are here. It'll be third and long for HD. Under heavy pressure. And looks like they were trying to get Purvis on the screen. Jamal Edwards reads it perfectly. And that'll bring up fourth down for HD Woodson. Great job right there by Edwards. Now this is more like the Roosevelt that I expected to see. They really came in laying some eggs, man. So we're now under four minutes remaining in the first half. Looks like H.D. Woodson is going to go for it. Not surprised to see that. Doesn't look like Kayvon Sneed has re-entered the game. He was the spark for them. Leo come out of the shotgun with trips to the left. It's snapped. Under heavy pressure, that play will be blown dead. H.D. Woodson starting to get sloppy. That'll be a false start charge to the Warriors. H.D. Woodson starting to get sloppy. They did a great job in the first quarter. Brings up third at Georgia Avenue. It's a big fourth down. Fourth in Georgia Avenue, as you heard the PA announcer say. Roosevelt has to play strong here. They cannot get they cannot afford to give up a first down. A Sneed will come out still in the shotgun. Not a bad play by HD Woodson. Not a bad play by HD. Run the ball. Go back on defense. I did that play. That is a smart play. Smart play. Smart coaching decision. Especially as you're not deep in your own zone. You don't really want to punt it away because then Roosevelt is really just going to start at the 20. So what's five? Well, five yards can be a lot, but in this sense... Not a bad play by H.D. Woodson. Senior defense back on the field. Roosevelt hasn't really done much of anything offensively. Let your defense play off this last 2.30. Get off and, and go to halftime. It'll be Wilkins on the keeper. Able to get outside. Good block right there. Looks like that was Wilkins on the block. And looks like the clock will continue to run. And Roosevelt will go right to the line. Good job by Wilkins as he comes out in the empty set. 
Wilkins will take the snap on a QB keeper. Nice cut back. Khalil Wilkins. Pass midfield. First down, Roosevelt. It's a good run right there by Wilkins. Wilkins gives this Roosevelt offense. Again, taking nothing from Kerry Burns, having a great year, 15 scores, one pick. But this, but Khalil Wilkins gives Roosevelt an asset on offense that they don't have with uh, Burns. And that's an opportunity to run plays like a QB keeper. There's a snap. Looks like they're trying to get Wilkins in some space. Breaks the tackle. Makes another man miss. No, actually that was Page. Flag on the play. Looks like we do have a flag on the play. Looks like this may be against the Rough Riders. Shot block charge to Roosevelt. That one's gonna hurt because that's gonna back him up 15 yards. We got a low chop block. Chop block. Man, Roosevelt again shooting themselves in the foot. The clock will continue to run. It'll be now second and 21. Gotta get to the 37 of HD to pick up a first down for Roosevelt. Wilkins comes out, once again, an empty set. Looks like we have movement once again prior to the snap, but this is against Roosevelt. Terrible. Oh, man, false start once again against Roosevelt. They're killing themselves. Penalties, penalties. For all of you who've been subscribed to TSDN, whether that be just for this season, just last week, or if you've been subscribed since the inception of our net, since the founding of our network, you know what I'm getting ready to say. You can't commit penalties in big games like this. No excuse for them. Roosevelt got to get it together. They're going to lose this one. Wilkins, under heavy pressure, evades the rush. Looks like Payne had him. He's able to break free. Khalil Wilkins. But that'll still bring up third down. With the little razzle dazzle. Looks like we have a timeout, timeout. Timeout Roosevelt, timeout comes with 41 seconds remaining in the first half. After the Rough Riders timeout. It'll be third and long. Wilkins will be joined in the backfield. Z's in the shotgun. He'll be joined in the backfield by Pratt. Roosevelt's going to go to the air here. And that is well out of bounds. Looking for Wilkins. Pass falls incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Looks like Roosevelt is gonna punt it away. 11, 40 yards left. Not a bad decision. It'll be Burns set the punt. It'll be DeAndre Purvis back to receive. It's a good punt, it'll give Purvis an opportunity. And he breaks the tackle. He can fly now. DeAndre Purvis. That is a great return by Purvis. I think we do have a penalty on the play. It's a great return by Purvis. Just bad tackling by Roosevelt. See what the penalty call is. That'll be a charge against HD. That'll be charged to HD Woodson. In a huge turn of events, 
First and ten. Looks like an illegal substitution. On the 40s. What the PA announced called illegal participation. Never heard of that in my life. And it'll give Roosevelt the ball back and an automatic first down. Wow. I don't know about that call. I do not know about that one at all. That is surprising as well as confusing. But nonetheless, with 28 ticks remaining, Roosevelt keeps the football. With an opportunity to put points on the board. Wow, I don't know about that one, man, but if you fit on Roosevelt, you ain't gonna ask too many questions. You're just gonna take the football and try to go get some points. I know that I know that H.D. Wilson coaching staff is losing their mind. I do not blame them because I'm not sure about what the I I man, it was fourth and twelve. And I thought an illegal substitution was a five or ten yard penalty. I, I'm, I'm not sure where the first down comes into play. As the referee still are conversing, looks like we're getting ready to get underway. Roosevelt will keep the football. Man, I don't know about that one, but nonetheless, first and 10. Ball spotted at the 32 for Khalil Wilkins and this Roosevelt offense. Trip bunch trips to the right. 28 seconds left. Definitely expecting to go to the air. That's in pride in motion. Wilkins will take a shot. Has a man. Touchdown, Roosevelt. Antonio Wilkins, who has been an absolute stud all year long, comes up big with a big touchdown reception. Roosevelt has tied the ball game with 21 ticks remaining in the first half. Wow. Just like that, how quickly things can change. Roosevelt laying a bunch of eggs, come out in the second quarter, put up 12 points with an opportunity to take the lead on an extra point. Trying to turn up a little bit, y'all. Oh, man, Roosevelt. I got 21 more seconds in this quarter. What I said, what did I say earlier about H.D. Woodson? What they did not want to do is get lazy. And the extra point attempt is good. And Roosevelt takes the lead 13 to 12 with 21 6 remaining in the first half. After the Wilkins to Wilkins, no relation, Wilkins to Wilkins touchdown. Roosevelt gets set to kick off as they have taken the lead. And I'm not mad at if this does go out of bounds, does not give HD Wilson an opportunity on the return. Roosevelt, H.D. Woodson will take over on offense. After a run by H.D. Woodson, looks like that is how we'll end the first half. And at the end of the first half, we got some fireworks at the end of it. It was exciting. Roosevelt takes the lead. And they now lead 13 to 12 over H.D. Woodson. Make sure you guys keep it locked right here at TSDN. We're watching our game time, game of the week. Welcome back for the start of the second half. It'll be Roosevelt kicking off as they lead 12-13 over H.D. Woodson. They did, did a great job there in that second quarter. Getting on the board. And eventually taking the lead. H.D. Wilson played a bit sloppy in the second quarter, but still a good half by him. Make sure you guys keep it locked. It's going to be a competitive ball game. Second half is now underway. H.D. Wilson will get a chance for the return, and he will be upended. Yeah. That'll be number three, Jamal Edwards. Jamal. H.D. Wilson will take over on offense. Ball will be spotted at about the 30-yard line. As HD comes out on offense, if I'm HD, I want to reestablish my run game. Kayvon Sneed had an incredible first half. It kind of lagged a bit. 
Oh, that's on the ground. Oh no, they say it was down. Number one for the curry. Again, as I was as I was alluding to for HD, dominant, dominant run game in the first half. Kayvon Sneed with a touchdown. I'm sure probably got over the at least close to the century mark. At least 75 yards. Second down. And 11 on the 28-yard line. Excuse me, not the century mark, the 100-yard mark. Because it'll be second down. And they'll hand it to Sneed outside. Nice cutback by Sneed. And right, he'll be tackled. That'll be number 21, Justin Cook on the tackle. That's a good tackle by Cook. I love a DB that come up and make a tackle. You can play for me. If you're a defensive back who likes and is willing to tackle, that'll bring up third down. Third and 11. It'll be third and long for the Rough Riders. I mean, excuse me, for the Warriors. Roosevelt doing a much better job against the run in this one so far in the third quarter. And it looks like we have some movement prior to the snap. I think that'll be against H.D. Woodson. And that'll cost H.D. Woodson five more yards. I just mentioned it about HD as we're now approaching the 10-minute mark remaining in the third quarter. They got a little sloppy in the second quarter, started committing penalties, turned the ball over. They had played really, really smart and sound football, especially in the first quarter, man. They played as about as perfect of a quarter as you can play. They got to clean that up. As Lee is under pressure, and he will be sacked. Once again, pulling some double duty with his second sack of the night. Juan Pratt. And that'll force a three and out. And H.D. Woodson will send on the punting unit. Good job by Pratt coming off the edge. It's been pretty quiet offensively, but it's been making quite a bit of noise defensively. And that'll be fourth down. H.D. Wilson will get set to punt it away. It'll be Thomas punting. It'll be return man, best return man in D.C. if you're asking me. Antonio Wilkins putting up Devin Hester caliber numbers with six returns for touchdowns so far this year. If I'm HD, I am not kicking to him whatsoever. Good snap. And it's a good punt by Thomas. And it looks like, nope, it will not. Good cover, good job by the coverage team. Not sure why they didn't let that one bounce a little more. Not giving Antonio Wilkins an opportunity for a return and Roosevelt's offense leading 13 to 12. We'll begin their drive. As Roosevelt's Good offense will come back out onto the field. It'll be Wilkins still at the helm. And that'll be number eight, Juan Pratt. With a first down reception. It was a great half and by Julio Wilkins. Showtime, Wilkins. That'll bring up another first down for Khalil Wright. I mean, for Khalil Wilkins. That one's in the dirt. Looking for Page in the slot. Pass four incomplete. That'll bring up second down and 10. But back to Wilkins. Great job in the first half coming in for Kerry Burns Jr. Instantly gave the team a spark. A much needed spark offensively. From the 45 yard line. He's a big reason. Two touchdowns. As he goes on a hard count, trying to get Roosevelt to jump. I mean, excuse me, trying to get H.D. Woodson to jump. H.D. Woodson plays discipline. Hey, 
He'll look. He'll look. Under pressure. He'll throw. Finds Edwards. Looks like his knee may have been down. But nonetheless, they don't, they don't whistle him down. And that'll be a first down for Roosevelt. Good, good decision right there by Wilkins. And this Roosevelt offense is really starting to roll. It'll be first and 10 for Wilkins and his offense. And it'll be a straight QB lead. Khalil Wilkins gets outside and he'll get out of bounds. And I think that'll be enough for a first down. Do we have a penalty on the play? Yes, we do. Let's see what the official's call is. Looks like it might be holding charged against Roosevelt. Yes, there will be a penalty and will be charged. It'll be charged to off the board. Raise up. It'll be charged to the Rough Riders. That'll eliminate that first down run. First. Let's keep the ball. We'll make it first and five. It's right trying to go on a hard count, trying to get HD Wilson to jump. On the 23. The Prado motion into the backfield. Let's just they hand it to him. Nope, they'll keep it in Wilkins' hands. And he will be sacked. That'll be number 31, Amari Payne on the sack. That'll be his fifth sack of the season. As I mentioned last week, in the game against Dunbar, Amari Payne, a lot of you may know him by his professional name, Be Different Media. You can do it behind the camera and on the field. Good job by Payne. I'm going to bring up second down and 11. As Wilkins going to take a shot, has a man wide open. And Winston Page is going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt looks like a completely different offense. Roosevelt looks like a completely different offense since Wilkins has, Wilkins has entered the game. Touchdown, Rough Riders. And they'll look to go up by eight. Pending an extra point. Extra point attempt is good. With 6.26 remaining in the third quarter, the Rough Riders lead H.D. Woodson 20 to 12. Roosevelt gets set to kick off after Wilkins finds Page wide open. That's a live football. That's a live football. That's a live ball. That's a live ball. And Roosevelt recovers. Roosevelt recovers. Oh, I don't know about that one. That's a live football. But we do have an injury on the play. It'll be an injury timeout. After the injured player is able to make it off under his own power, H.D. Wilson will begin their drive, and they'll hand it off to Snead, and Jamal Edwards may, <coughs> makes the tackle. Jamal. H.D. Wilson doing a, I mean, excuse me, Roosevelt doing a really good job on in this half, shutting Snead down. So we're now under six minutes remaining. Bring up second and 13 after the tackle for a loss by Edwards. 
And once again, they'll hand it to Sneed. This time, Javari Peaks is there to make the tackle. It's, now, this is more like Roosevelt. This is more like Roosevelt. Javari Peaks with a tackle. It'll be third down and long for Novon Lee. Under pressure, able to evade the rush. Looks like he's going to keep it himself. And Novon Lee once again making the smart decision and giving his team a first down. Again, I've said this a few times, and I've also posted it on my social media platforms. The stat sheet will not show you all how well no von lee has played this year doesn't have gaudy numbers not hd out of trouble doesn't lead the league in passing but if you watch him play he plays with a poise that you want to see out of a, out of a quarterback constantly consistently making a good decision this time they'll hand it to sneed Kayvon Sneed makes a man miss, and he will be tackled inside the 30-yard line. Kayvon Sneed, there's the spark that I think H.D. Woodson's offense needed. Sneed gives it to him. With the run for number one. He's up first to 10 on the 29-yard line. And that'll be first and 10. As HD now enters Roosevelt territory behind that run by Sneed. Now handed to Sneed once again. This time Roosevelt is able to corral him. So we're now under four minutes remaining. Second and seven, let's see if they hand it to Sneed once again. Yes, oh no, it's actually DeAndre Purvis. Oh, that's a good tackle by Peaks. Looks like if Purvis was able to get out of that tackle, he may have been able to do some damage. It's a great job by Peaks making that tackle. It's a big third down for HD. Oh, that's a nice play by Lee. Fake the QB sweep. Cut it back. First down, HD Woodson. Looks like that was a well drawn up play. Lee executed it to perfection. Able to give his team another first down to keep this drive alive. And it gets out of bounds to stop the clock. It's a good job right there. Let's go, Riders. By Lee. Come on, y'all. need y'all support. Come on, y'all. It's a good drive. HD Wilson is put together. See if they can finish it with some points. Tie this game up. Leo keeping himself under pressure, able to get the pass away. It'll be Cook on the tackle, but that is a great play by Novon Lee. Justin Cook. Hope you guys understand the strength that it took to get that pass away as he was being pulled down. 
It's a great job by Lee. It'll be first and 10. Ball spotted at the 12. See if HD, oh, Roosevelt jumps. That'll give HD what's in five yards, making it first and five. Excuse me, making it second and one. Roosevelt has been playing a smart form of football in his half. Not right now. They'll hand it to Snead. No, it'll be a keeper by Lee. But Juan Pratt has been absolutely treacherous defensively. Tracks Lee down and tackles him for a loss. Juan Pratt having himself a heck of a game defensively. Haven't heard, haven't heard much from him offensively. But defensively, he's been all over the field. Two sacks and then that big time tackle for loss to force, force third down and long. It's a great job by Pratt. A lot of you star players around the league and maybe some of you star players in youth ball. However you can help your team when you do it. Whatever the coach needs you to do to help the team, you do it and you don't ask questions. Leo take the snap, under pressure, and Paige is able to get the sack. Winston Page, nice in from the free safety spot. Gets the sack. And that'll force fourth down and long. Good job by Roosevelt. This Grant Ben, but don't Page break defense. With the tackle. And that may be how we end the third quarter. See if HD Woodson lets it tick down. Looks like they will. At the end of three. Roosevelt leads 20 to 12. Make sure you guys keep it like right here to TSPN. It is going to be an absolute show. Back to the start of the fourth quarter. Big first, big fourth down for HD. They trail 20 to 12 to the to the Rough Riders. Lee, Novon Lee, has made some great decisions. Does some great things on this drive with trips to his right. Under heavy pressure, and he will be sacked. And it'll be number 11, DCI AA sack leader, Jalen Edwards. That'll be his 11th sack of the year, and, it, and I don't think it could have came at a bigger moment. Roosevelt is gonna take over on downs. After the sack and the turnover on downs, They'll hand it to Pratt. Oh, Pratt coughs it up. Oh, man. Wow. I'm not sure what happened. But Juan Pratt coughed it up. HD Wilson recovers. I'm not sure what's going on with Pratt. Cause he's been planning, but cause he's been absolutely just just been a non-factor offensively. I expected Roosevelt to come into this game and Juan Pratt be the dead key to victory. Offensively, it's been the complete opposite. It's been more of a detriment. But he's made up for it defensively. Let's see if that play continues. Wow. HD recovers, brings up first. HD Woodson gets a gift. On the 35 yard line, HD Woodson's ball. They trail by eight. Ball spotted at the 35 for Novon Lee in his offense. See if they hand it to Sneed. They do. Oh, uh, looks like they were trying. But Juan Pratt makes up for that fumble. Another tackle for a loss for him. We're 
with the tackle by Juan Brent. Brings up second at 34. With 11, 11 on the clock. Your ride is 20. H.D. Wilson, 12. So we're now at the 11-minute mark left in the ball game. Still a lot of football left. As Lil be joined in the backfield by Purvis. Surprised to see. No Kayvon Sneed in the game. Taking nothing away from Purvis. But Sneed has had the hot hand. And it looks like we have a delay of game. It'll be charged to HD. Time out. Woodson. That's their first charge I'm Actually, nope. Won't be a delay of game. It'll be a timeout by HD Woodson. Timeout comes with 1041 remaining in the fourth quarter. After the Woodson timeout. HD Woodson with the ball. It's like a bit of confusion with HD Woodson offense. Like they're able to get it under control. Leo drop back. He'll throw. Pass is too high. That'll bring up third down. Incomplete pass. With the incomplete pass, brings up third and 11 on the 36 yard line. Riders. 20, HD, 12. It's a big third down for HD. So every third down is going to be big for them. See if they try to get Roosevelt to jump. Nope, Leo drop back. Under pressure, balls on the ground. HD Woodson is able to recover. But it will be fourth down nonetheless. Waiting on the call from the refs. Will be fourth down nonetheless. HD wants to fumble. H.D. Wilson does the smart thing and he'll bring on the punting unit. As Antonio Wilkins is out of the game, getting checked out by the training staff. With the fumble and H.D. recovery, H.D. has opted to punt. 4 for 11 on the 36 yard line. Good snap. And that's a good punt by Thomas. And that'll go out of bounds. What a punt by Thomas. Little coffin corner kick. A lot of you old school Madden players. Looks like that'll be down inside the 10 yard line. And that's where Roosevelt will take over on offense. After the great punt by Thomas. First Khalil eight. Wilkins. This Roosevelt offense will take over after turning it over. Looking to get a better drive going. This time they'll hand it to Berryman. Berryman makes some really good moves. Pushes the pile. Better protect the ball because H.D. Woodson is going to be trying to strip it. And Berryman will be tackled. That was a great strong run right there by Berryman. Berryman. Looks like a gain of about eight on that play. The best thing that Roosevelt can do right now is run the football. And especially if they can run it effectively, that runs down the clock. Second and two, second and a long two. See if they run it again with Berryman. That's exactly what they do, right up the middle. And that'll be a first down as Berryman falls forward. First down, Roosevelt. Wouldn't be surprised to see Roosevelt run this until H.D. Woodson stops it. And forces them maybe to punt it away. 
Wings up. First down, Raiders. Remember, if Roosevelt closes this one out as they get, almost got H.D. Woods in the jump. Again, remember, if Roosevelt closes this one out, they will pretty much lock up the number one seed in DCIAA. And they'll hand it to Berryman. Nice cutback by Berryman. And he's still rumbling. Yes, sir. First down, Roosevelt. Some old school football right there. Pounding the rock. I've said it before. If you can't run the ball in DCIAA, you're not going to win games. Roosevelt, though their running game has been quiet, coming up where it matters. Oh, this is a good job right here by HD. Oh, it's Berryman breaks the tackle, but Josiah Young, who was the first one there, finishes the play up. Looks like that'll be a loss of about five. That's a good job by Young. And Pratt will re into the game. Brings up second. Not sure what was not sure what's going on with Pratt this evening. On the 32 yard line. But good job right there by Berryman. That yeah, I know him. Well, good job right there by Berryman. Uh, Riders, homecoming. Takes at least three to four minutes off of the clock. Yeah, the school 22. Which is what Roosevelt wants to do. Dude. They just want to run the clock down. They want to run the clock down. That's exactly what they want to do. <clears throat> they want to run it as they want to wind the clock as much as they can. And looks like they'll take a timeout. Timeout comes with 7-17 remaining in the ball game. Second and long as they come out in the empty set. Khalil Wright, who's been the spark offensively for this Roosevelt team. That one will be in the dirt. Phillips. With the pass. Looking for Phillips, but passes in the dirt, and that'll bring up third down. So number seven. Looks Nehemiah like H.D. Phillips. Woodson, if Roosevelt is unable to convert right here, looks like H.D. Woodson will get the ball back. I wouldn't be surprised to see Roosevelt take a shot to the end zone. Third to 16. Looks like H.D. Woodson is in a cover zero. Looks like they may blitz. No, nope, they just send four. Wilkins steps up, and that pass falls incomplete. Number four. Good job by H.D. The Roosevelt is sending on the punting unit. Avenue. H.D. Woodson is going to get the ball back with about probably just under seven, just under seven minutes remaining. Plenty of time to go and get some points. What an exciting game so far. Appreciate you guys keeping it locked right here at TSDN. Uh, almost a bad snap. Burns is able to get it. And that's a nice punt. And it'll take a huge Rough Rider bounce. And it'll be down at the 38 yard line, and that's where Novon Lee and his HD Woodson offense is going to take over. With 6.55 remaining, Novon Lee and his offense will come back out onto the field. Kayvon Sneed re enters the game. Shout out to the class of 1990. They'll come out single tight, and they'll hand it to Sneed. And Sneed will get out of bounds. Good decision. Good job right there by Sneed. Pick up what you can. Get out of bounds. Stop the clock. Good job right there by Sneed. I understand that you have two capable backs in Sneed and Purvis. But if I'm HD, I'm keeping Sneed in the game. Sneed is not coming out of the game as long as we're on offense from this point, from this point forward. Second and three. On the 46 yard line. I understand you got to get your back a break sometime, but you got to stay in the game. This is crunch time right here. And they'll hand it to him again. Kayvon Sneed 
And that'll be a first down for H.D. Woodson. Looks like we have a flag on the play. Not sure who it'll be against. Looks like some extracurricular after the play is over. This is against H.D. Woodson. It's going to be a backbreaker for them. Let's see. Let's the officials talk it over. Let's see what the call is. Holding. It'll be holding. Charge to HD. That'll eliminate that first down run by Sneed. Oh, back, 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 back it on up. That'll cost HD Woodson 10 yards. With the holding. It'll cost them 10. 10 yards. Brings up second. That'll bring up second down and about seven. We're close to six and a half minute mark. Roosevelt still up 20 to 12 over HD. Again, if Roosevelt is able to close this one out, they'll lock up the number one seed. Lee's gonna take a shot. And Roosevelt is all over that one. Justin Cook. Running stride for stride with his receiver. And Winston Page over the top. It's good defense right there by Roosevelt. <laughs> we'll bring up third down and long for H.D. Woodson. They'll hand it to Sneed. Not a bad decision, but Roosevelt was all over it. Sneed is able to break free, and he will be forced out of bounds. That'll be a first down for H.D. Woodson. Kayvon Sneed having an incredible game. Number one. It's a great Sweet. job right there by Sneed to keep his the feet rattles. turning. He's able to pop out of the, pop out of those tackles like a mouse. On the 50 yard line. Mighty mouse, if you will. Picks up a first down. This time they'll hand it to Purvis. And Purvis will be tackled. He coughed it up. HD Woodson is able to recover. <laughs> Again, taking HD nothing away from DeAndre Purvis, but if I'm HD, Kayvon Sneed does not leave the ball game. I'm not sure why he continues to, why they continue to take him out of the ball game. On a 47 yard line. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It's not like they're up. They're playing, they're, they have two opponents right now. They have Roosevelt's defense and the clock. As we're approaching the five minute mark, I'm, I'm not sure why Sneed continues to, they continue to sub Sneed out. But nonetheless, Lee will be in the shotgun. He'll look under heavy pressure, able to evade it for the moment. He'll pull it down, keep it himself. Oh, puts a defender on the ground and he'll slide. That'll be a first down and then some. What a move right there by Sneed. Ooh, left a defender sliding in the dirt. Again, great job by Sneed. That'll first be a first down, down for HD. HD Wilson. Stand now inside the 35 yard line. Ball to be spotted. It looks to be the 32. So we're now under five minutes remaining. HD Woodson needs a touchdown and a two point conversion. The they He's still have, HD Woodson support. still has all of their timeouts. Come on, y'all. Get behind your riders on homecoming. Let's go, y'all. Let's turn them up. They'll hand it to Sneed, and this time, Roosevelt is able to corral Sneed. Once again, that'll be number 11, Jalen Edwards. 
DC IAA sack leader. We ain't said it was gonna be easy. Younger brother. We need a you senior. Jamal Edwards. As the Roosevelt faithful starts to get into it. Second and long. So we're now with the four minute mark. Won't be surprised to see HD Wilson maybe take a shot right here. Looks like that's what they're gonna do. Lee pulls it down. And Lee will pick up a first down, gets out of bounds, and that is an easy flag. That's just not smart. He was well out of bounds. There's also a flag on the play. I'm not sure. That's an easy call. That's an easy personal foul. He was out of bounds. That just wasn't smart. That just wasn't smart at all. And that'll give HD Woodson first and goal with 341 remaining. Again, good job by Lee. Pull that one down. That was that's just bad. That just that's just bad. That's just bad penalty. Yeah, he picked up the first down. That was, that was, that was, that was not good at all. Didn't get the number. As they come out in a heavy package. With Anderson and Young in the backfield. And they'll hand it to Young. And Young will be met immediately. That'll be number 44, Javari Peaks, first man there. Looks like a pickup of about four. Excuse me, pick up about one as we're now under 3.30 with HD inside the 10-yard line. Ball will be spotted exactly at the 5-yard line. Three minutes and 15 seconds as you all heard the PA announcer say. HD 12. HD. Knocking at Dukes. Trying to get a fish sandwich. As they'll keep the heavy package in, and that'll be a false start charge to Young. And that'll cost them five yards, making it second goal at the 10. It is no excuse for a back or a receiver to jump. It's no excuse. It's no excuse. It's no, no excuse whatsoever. And it's nothing that anybody can say to convince me otherwise. Watch the ball. Come on, that's, that's the, can't commit penalties like that. But it might be to HD Woodson's favor as Kayvon Sneed re-enters the game. It'll be a toss to Sneed and he will be tackled. It's a great job right there. Winston Page coming up from that free safety spot. Great job by Roosevelt to seal the edge. Keep Sneed from picking up more as we're now approaching two minutes remaining and it'll be third down. Ball to be spotted at about the 11 yard line. Four down territory, so A.C. Woodson still has two opportunities to put points on the board. But if they're unable to, I think that'll just about do it in this one. If HD Woodson is not is unable to tie this game up, I think that will just about do it. Let's see. Let's go, y'all. Third down and goal from the 11. Lee comes out in a two-back shotgun. Looking, looking, and it is incomplete. In and out of the hands. Had his man beat. In and out of the hands of Bell. And that'll bring up fourth down. Ooh. Good throw right there by Lee. Maybe a bit out of the grass. 
but he put it in a spot where only Bell would be able to get it. Bell got his hands on it. And I'm from the old school. When I was a young cat, whether I was playing organized ball in high school or in the backyard with the OGs, they said if it touch your hands, you grab it and you pull it in. So no excuse. So this is it. This is for the game right here. Oh, it looks like the referee had the ball in the wrong spot. It is fourth and goal from the 11. I think this is the game right here. Looks like HD Woodson takes a timeout. It's a good smart timeout. Let's get the perfect play drawn up. Timeout comes with 138 remaining in the fourth quarter. This is for the game right here. Lee looks. Lee under pressure. Lee evades the rush. He'll throw. And it is incomplete. Looks like HD Woodson wanted a flag. Won't get one. And the Roosevelt Rock Riders will take over on offense. It'll be first and 10. Ball spot at the 11 after the turnover on downs. Game is not over, though. Game is nowhere near over. Anything can happen. A fumble. HD Woodson still has all three of their timeouts. I actually know they have two timeouts remaining. And I'm not sure what the situation was right there. I'm not sure about that penalty. But that'll be charged to the Warriors. AC Wilson came out real strong in the first quarter. But they've been a lot of mistakes. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. They, they, they actually waved the flag off back to the original spot. Yeah, I was a little confused by that penalty. Nonetheless, Roosevelt has to close this one out. <laughs> Definitely expect them to keep it on the ground. Yep, and they'll keep it in the hands of Wilkins. And Wilkins will be tackled. And H.D. Woodson is going to call a timeout. Timeout comes with 116 remaining in the ball game. HD Woodson timeout. I believe that is their last one. If it's not the last one, they have one more remaining. 116. Shout out to Reach Records. 116 remaining in the fourth quarter. Definitely expect them to run the same play. Keep it in Wilkins' hands. And they'll kneel down. I think that was H.D. Woodson's last time out. That's the clock. I believe that'll do it. I think that was H.D. Woodson's last time out. So a couple kneel downs. So after this last kneel down, Roosevelt will be able to run the clock out. Third down right here. Do you think he want to stop the clock? And it'll be another kneel down. And they will wind the clock down. And it looks like, if anything, Roosevelt will just run a dummy play. Looks like Roosevelt will take the penalty. Not sure what the confusion is. As they are winding the clock. And that'll do it. The Roosevelt Rough Riders have defeated HD Woodson. And they lock up the number one seed in DCI Double A Playoffs. As you can see them, run on to the field. What a big time victory for Roosevelt. And that'll do it. Appreciate you guys keeping the lock right at TSPN. You've been watching our game time.
Game of the Week.